I always forget to record. Right, now it's recording. So, um, so this is the photo card that it looks like in the in the speaking exam. On the photo card, there's a photo, obviously, and then there's three questions you can see. So one, two, three. And the first question is always the same for every single photo, no matter what's in the photo. It is, qu'est-ce qu'il y a sur la photo? What is in the photo? And that's the first question for all of them. The other questions will vary depending on what the photo is about. OK, what topic the photo is about. Now, I've tried to pick one from the holidays topic. This came from, I think, the June 2018 exam, I think. Um, and so I tried to pick one the holidays topic. because That's what we're doing at the moment. So you're in that little preparation room. You've got seven minutes now. You've got a piece of paper. Basically, you can write your answers to those three questions and bring your piece of paper into the exam and read them off. So that's a really nice comfort blanket almost to have to be to have that with you. So what do you need to do for your answers? Well, you need to write a developed answer for this. OK, they don't want a simple answer. They don't just want in the photo, there's a tent and then move on. They're expecting the mark scheme says for you to get um, in the what's called the top band. So between 13 and 15 out of 15 for this, you need to try and develop your answers. But what do they mean by development? Well, they mean that you give at least three pieces of information for each question, at least three, using different <laughs> verbs. So if we think about that first one, we can't just say in the photo there is a man, a woman and a child, thinking that's three pieces of information, because you've just used the verb there is, and that's it. We haven't used a variety there, and so they'd only count that as one piece of information, like a list, but one piece of information. So we need to think about like using connectives, we need to think about how else can we say different things other than there is all the time to make our first answer better. OK, that's what they mean by development. And that will go for the other answers as well. So if it asks you like the second question, have you done camping before? OK, well, you might want to say, yes, I did camping last year. That's one piece of information. You could then say, I like it because. OK, so I like it would be another piece of information and the because would be a third piece of information. Yeah. You could then even say, however, it was cold, whatever it might be. But the idea is you try and develop your answer to give three, at least three pieces of information. And that definitely applies for these three questions, because remember, you've got seven minutes preparation time, so you can write what you want to say. So make sure you write some good answers for these three, because there will be two other questions that you don't know what they are. And we call them surprise questions. OK. And, uh, that, so there's two more questions you haven't had the chance to prepare for, and it's unlikely that you'll be able to give as good an answer for those two questions as you will for these three, because you've had the chance to prepare for these three. OK, so the idea is you, you do as best you can with these three, make it as long, as detailed, as developed as possible, just in case you, are a bit, you struggle a little bit with the two surprise questions and can only give a very short answer because the mark scheme says at GCC for top marks, 13, 14 or 15, the mark scheme says that students develop most of their answers. And if you develop these three, three out of five questions is most, it's more than half. So you can get that. Okay, so that's the key thing there. The other key thing is that you need to give at least one opinion, at least one opinion in the, in the whole five answers that you give. You don't have to give an opinion for each question, OK? Um, although it's quite good if you can, OK? Because it's something else that you're saying, but you don't have to. The mark scheme just says for the top marks, you students give an opinion, or at least an opinion, I think, for 13, 14 or 15, OK? But that should be fairly straightforward because you're very good at giving opinions and reasons anyway. OK, so if we then moved on and looked at doing this then, well, we've got the first I'm going to like model how I do go about doing this. This is my preparation time. I've got seven minutes. What's in the photo? Well, I'm going to start with Sella Photo. There is Ilya. I'm going to start with that because that's quite a nice easy one. I'm going to start with Ilya uh, Unifami. Okay, that's I'd count as one piece of information. So in the photo, there's a family. Now I think I need to give you some different verbs. I'm not going to say there is. I'm going to say you can see. And I'm going to use some connectives. A O C. On peut voir, you can see, um, une tante, maybe, a tent. I'd count that as two pieces of information because I've used there is a family, you can see a tent. Now, in my head, what I always think when I'm doing these, so I say what I can see, can I then maybe mention the weather 
and then also maybe mention how I think they are feeling. OK, as in that. So, c'est la faute il y a une famille et aussi on peut voir une tante. OK, um, I'm going to try and give an opinion. So I'm going to say je pense que I think that. So that effectively gives an opinion. Je pense que il sont contents. I think that they are happy. They look quite smiley, don't they? I think. And um, they look pretty happy. They're camping out in the wilderness. It looks quite good fun. Je pense qu'ils sont contents. I think they are happy. Um, and I'm going to use the same opinion again. Je pense que qu'il fait. What's the weather like? Sunny. Du soleil. Or I can make that even cleverer. Je pense qu'il fait chaud. I think that it is hot because ca oui. il y a du soleil. I reckon that'd be even nicer. So what I've managed to do, il y a une famille, one piece of information. On peut voir une tante, two pieces of information. Je pense qu'ils sont contents, different verb again. I think that they are happy, three pieces of information. Et je pense qu'il fait, oh, I don't want to do there, il fait show. Okay, that's another piece of information, car il y a du soleil, because there's, because there's some, I've, I've given five pieces of information there, I reckon. Okay, and I've given an opinion because I've used je pense que. OK, so that would count as, as a really nice answer for question one. Question two, as-tu déjà fait du camping? Pourquoi, pourquoi pas? So this question, have you done camping, basically, before? OK, um, uh, right, so I've got to think of an answer for that. So I'm going to go with yes, oui. And I'm going to use that, j'ai fait du camping. I've done camping. I might keep that as, as a short sentence. That's one piece of information. Um, uh, or why don't I give her with my family? Avec ma famille. Yes, I did camping with my family. I could say last year, l'année, always good to say when, l'année dernière. Very nice. Um, I can now give an opinion. Now I've used je pense que twice in my first answer. I might try and vary it, à mon avis, in my opinion, because I've used je pense que already. I need to show off. I'm, I'm in my GCSE here. I want to get a good mark. So à mon avis, um, c'était... In my opinion, it was, what was it? It was great. Okay, génial. Uh, why was it great? In my opinion, it was great. Um, car, uh, why was it? Uh, the weather was good. Il faisait. Il faisait, it was in terms of the weather it was doing. Okay, just nice, nice one. They're not seté there, but il faisait, car il faisait beau. Yes, I've done camping with my family. I'd count that as one, maybe two pieces of information last year. Probably with the last year, I'd count that as two. In my opinion, it was great. Three pieces of information. Car il faisait beau. Four pieces of information. Okay. Um, uh, pretty good. Past tense as well. I'll talk about how they use the tenses with these questions. Then. And then answer three. Qu'est-ce que tu fais normalement le soir pendant les vacances? So, qu'est-ce que, what? What do you normally do le soir, the evening? during the holidays. So this is a present tense question. So let's use the normalement. Normalement, I can use some of the question le soir, pendant les vacances. Why not? Let's use some of the question pendant les vacances. So normally in the evening during the holidays, uh, je, what do I do? Je, I don't know, je joue au volet à la plage. Why not? I like a bit of volleyball in the evening. À la plage, avec mes amis. That's quite a nice thing to do. So normally the evening, during the holidays, I play volleyball at the beach with my friends. And also, et aussi, uh, je mange au restaurant. I eat at restaurants, or at restaurant, avec ma famille. Let's try and give an opinion as well. Um, uh, I've done, je pense que, donne à mon avis. Um, let's go with je le trouve. I find it. From last week's work, je le trouve amusant. Perfect. And those three answers would all count as what, they're not loads and loads and loads, but they would all count as what I'd consider to be developed answers, because they all give at least three pieces of information and they use different verbs. So I've got a je joue here, I've got um, extra detail à la plage avec mes amis, I've got a je mange, and I've got a je le trouve there as well for that last answer. Okay, so not super, super complex, but there is an element of thought going into this for you thinking about what else can I say? How can I show off? How can I make this a developed answer? Okay. But bear in mind, you get seven minutes to prepare this. You have to do this off the cuff, these three. You've got seven minutes. 
where you can sit, read those questions because you get given your photo card before, seven minutes to sit there and go, right, OK, what am I going to say? And write it out. And then literally I would take that into my exam. And for those three, I would just read it off. Yeah, I'll ask you, qu'est-ce qu'il y a sur la photo? And you go, sur la photo, il y a une famille, et aussi on peut voir une tante, blah, 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 blah. OK, so it's, it's, it's you, you've got to use those seven minutes really wisely to prepare as best you can. Because it will really help you. The speaking exam is always quite challenging. It's a bit, a bit tricky. OK, so that's a, that's what you have to do for those. Three. And then there's this two surprise questions. So you won't see these. It will just be me. And this is what I will have in front of me. That's the three that you've had the chance to prepare for. I've got the other two here. So you've got quelle est ta destination de vacances préférée et pourquoi? So you'd have to listen really carefully and try and give an answer to that. I like to go to France because it's great. Whatever it might be. You don't necessarily have to develop these two as much because you've already done that development with the first three. OK, and then the last question, à ton avis, les vacances sont importantes. So are holidays important in your opinion? Pourquoi, pourquoi pas? OK, so you can always ask me to repeat those. I can repeat them. I'll try and say them as slowly as possible. I'll try and make it as easy for you as possible. I can't really rephrase them. I'm not really allowed to do that, but I do try and help as much as possible. So those two surprise questions, just in case, listening as best you can and having a go at, um, uh, at yeah, at basically answering them with a good sentence or two. OK, from my experience, I mark the example from my experience, the questions, the first question's always the same with this. The questions always tend to have a different tense. One of them will always be in a different tense. So it'd be like a last year one or last weekend or, or something like that. And um, uh, and it will sort of get you to do it. It might be a future one, like a next weekend, next year one. And then there's often an opinion question. So bear in mind, if we look at these ones, there's the what's in the photo, there's the different tense. There's not an opinion question in those three. So in my head, I'd be thinking, well, actually, one of the surprise questions is probably going to be an opinion question because they haven't asked me one yet. So that tends to be the format they tend to do them in. So you can kind of have a think about them and sort of preempt what, what's going to come up. There's a past tense one. OK, that's great. There might be a future tense one in the surprise questions, but there's probably going to be an opinion one because there isn't an opinion one here yet. OK, so. I'm going to stop that recording. I'll take any questions from you once I've stopped that recording, if I know how to do that. Um, oh, blimey. Let's have a look. Uh, how do I do that? Um, uh, there's the toolbar. Right, more action. Stop recording. There we go. Sorted. Uh,